and today I'm going to talk about HelioCare or the actual fern block plant, which is Polypodium leucotobus. I think I'm pretty close to pronouncing that right. But I get asked about this frequently, and I thought I would just do a whole video on this special ingredient, which has some amazing abilities to help protect your skin. And the nice thing is this ingredient can be taken orally in the form of a pill, or it can be applied topically. And you don't necessarily have to buy the Helio Care brand. There are affordable uh, generic products that contain it. The Helio Care is much more expensive. They kind of brought this more to light than kind of using the science behind this ingredient, uh, which um, it's an extract, Polypodium leucotomus, which leaves which has uh, an extract from the leaves that has skin protecting and antioxidant abilities when taken orally or applied topically. Polypodium leucotomus is a fern from Central and South America, and the underground rhizomes of the plant are used for medicine. Uh, the fern has been shown to potentially help also help with uh, skin inflammatory issues as well, um, but more of the research is focused on its protection from sun and UV, UV damage. I really want to do this video because I saw a lot of people discussing this more as a sunscreen alternative. And I don't want anybody to think they can take a pill and not use sunscreen. It's very important to use sunscreen, especially if you're outside a lot um, every day. But this is more of a supplement, aka supplements using sunscreen every day. So you can't use this and not use sunscreen. You still need sunscreen, but this can help your sunscreen work a little bit better. And I will link, there's a lot of different studies on it. I'll link to those if you're interested to see them, but studies basically prove that this is as good as it sounds. Um, orally taken, this extract decreases ultraviolet induced damage of human skin. Uh, oral administration is effective uh, systemic chemophotoprotective agent leading to significant protection of skin against UV radiation. So if you can get the HelioCare or the generic ones, it's great, especially if you know you're going to be outside a lot. You don't necessarily have to take it every single day, but looks like studies show if you take it every day, it's still going to be safe and your skin will be very happy. There's um, So you can take it orally in the pill, or you can apply it topically, or you can do both. Personally, HelioCare really has the market on it, the skincare products that contain it. I've only been able to find a few other non-HelioCare brands that use this ingredient in their skincare products, and this was one of them, SoulSense, which the ingredient list on this, it contains it, but it also contains several fragrant oils, so I'm not necessarily recommending this per se, but hopefully maybe some other brands will come out with similar serums because I don't necessarily I'd like to be able to use it night or day or not necessarily have to use the HelioCare sunscreen because the HelioCare sunscreens pretty much most of them contain fragrance which aren't great for your skin so topical or oral administration with an extract of polypodium leucotomus prevents acute sunburn and sorlorin induced phototoxic reactions as well as depletion from Langerhans cells in human skin Langerhans cells are cells uh, that are a form of white blood cells found in healthy people that protect the body from infection. Uh, the main activities of the fern leaves act as a scavenger to mop up free radicals and reactive oxygen species, particularly superoxide ions, which are high energy molecules that cause direct cell damage and have long been associated with um, all types of cancer. Uh, it inhibits the depletion of the Langerhans cells, reduces the number of sunburn cells, Protects DNA by inhibiting the formation of cyclobutane pyrimid dimers, which are cancer-causing cells induced by UVB radiation. Also preserves skin tissue structure by inhibiting the infiltration of mast cells into skin. Mast cells release chemicals in the body that cause inflammation, redness, and itching like a sunburn. So you can use these, but you still should use a sunscreen. They're not a substitute for sunscreen. It's a good supplement for sunscreen. There's also a lot of other uh, vitamins and supplements that can also help the skin. Um, astaxanthin, I always pronounce that wrong. Vitamin D, vitamin C, niacin, green tea are all great ingredients to have in a good supplement. I know HelioCare has more options which contain, I think, green tea and niacin also. But you don't necessarily have to buy the HelioCare brand. You can just buy a generic brand, which 
uh, Amazon sells them or the vitamin store sells them. Um, so just keep that in mind. But it's important to not use this as your sole form of sunscreen. It's meant to be in addition to sunscreen. But all the studies I've read show it's effective, it's safe, and people can use this as an option to their irregular sunscreen. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd talk a little bit about those, but the Helio Care brand is obviously great. You can take one before you go out. I think you can take another one within four hours. I think this one also contains green tea, beta carotene. So there you go. So a little bit about it. It's proven. It's safe. It helps. I know a lot of people that go out in the sun often. They take this before they go out. They still use their sunscreen and their skin looks great and they don't have any side effects or anything from it. So good information to know. Something to think about before you get ready for the beach or anything this summer. And personally, I don't really like talking a lot about supplements because most of them are kind of scammy. A lot of kiwi seeds. I mean, come on. So I really don't like to talk about them very much. And in general, things with biotin and collagen, usually most people already have enough of that in their system. But this is one that actually has research on it that shows it's effective and safe and worth spending money on. The rest of the stuff... I'm not going to hawk it. I'm not even going to review it. And other than talking about how they're probably not that great for you, this one is, and it actually has research. I've never seen any kiwi studies, kiwi seed studies. So if there's no studies on it, it probably is a bunch of crap. So, But this one does have the proof and the studies behind it. So it's worth investing in this as opposed to some of the other supplements that are out. So anyway, those are my thoughts on... Heliocare or Polypodium Leucotomus, Leucotomus, whatever. Um, but anyway, if you have any other thoughts, uh, leave a comment below and also link to some of the studies so you can check them out for yourself. And thank you guys so much.